Welcome to the Round Corner Tavern. These are the Round Corner Tavern shooters. George versus Hog Leg. These are two of the great shooters at the Round Corner Tavern, especially when they're shooting the best game. George goes for the bait. Didn't make anything on the bait. Nice spread of the balls, though. Hog Leg's up next. Hog Leg's gonna go for the set ball in the corner pocket. And he makes it. Hog Leg's looking at the three ball. Takes a look at the six ball. Takes a look at the four ball. Takes a look at the two ball. Shoots the four ball in the corner pocket. Nice little hit off the well, off the two. Leaves himself with a five ball in the corner pocket. Hog leg shoots the five ball, kicks the 15 down the block, the side pocket. Could possibly shoot the six off of it. Instead, he'll go for the three ball in the corner pocket. Hog leg makes the three ball in the corner pocket, no problem. Brings the cue ball all the way back. Now he might do that six ball in the side option, or instead, he can see the two ball, so he goes for the two ball. Hog leg for the two ball, misses the shot, tucks in the cue ball, but maybe not enough for George. George is the type of guy that will find a shot. Walks around the table, good pool etiquette. Besides, he's going to go for the 11 ball. Ooh, follow that two ball in the corner, that's what you call killing the duck. Kills the duck, makes the 11. Shoots for the 13 ball in the corner pocket. That looked like it was going to scratch to the amateur eye. But no problem for old George. George is one of the pool team's top shooters. Hog leg shoots for the round corner table. Two. Round corner team, excuse me. Both of these balls play pool for one of the many round corner teams. That was a nice nine ball shot. You see how he shot that nine ball soft? That's what keeps it in the pocket. Now he's gonna go for the 12 ball in the corner pocket. Ooh, shot it a little bit harder than he shot the nine ball last time. I wonder if it made a difference if he'd have shot it a little bit softer. Not really that important. Didn't leave hog leg much or nothing. Hog leg goes for a six ball cut. Ooh, scratches. Gives George ball in hand. No homo. But that's how they play at the round corner. Ball in hand is part of the BCA rules. No, these boys are shooting BCA today. It's a serious game, I can tell. And it's always a good game of stick every time these two get to the table. It's rare because they like to keep both tables at the round corner when they're playing. So if you ever want to play a good game, stop on in 2333 S Street down in Sacramento, California. Or up in Sacramento, California, if you're down. Bring a friend. Ask for George at the door. Tell him you want to shoot a game of stick. You won't even have to ask for hog leg. You can spot him a mile away. Smell him like a fart in a car. George goes for that stripe in the corner pocket. Shoots it so pretty that the cue ball stopped and danced. Now he's going to finish off that 10 ball in the corner pocket. Ooh, almost a tip too much. But shooting soft pays off. Remember that, folks. Goes for the 15 ball in the side pocket. Leaves himself so beautiful. If that was a female, it would be a princess, that shot. Now he's going for the 8 ball in the corner pocket. Steps back from it. Must have been nervous or something must have happened. Jumped like a horse stepped on a snake. Or maybe he didn't step back from it. Looks like there's some jaw jacking going on. Let me see if I can fine tune. See if tune in here and see what they talking about. Looks like George is talking to Hog Lake about breaking the cue down because looks like Hog Lake figured the game was over and was going to break his cue down. Or it could have been an old mind game. Yep, George is going to the rule books. Right here under the camera section is uh, the rule books. 
terms of that, the rule book section, probably looking for the rule. I'm going to go on Google while they do that and see what the rule is. Breaking down your stick before the game is over. Will that make you the elephant or the donkey? George is a great man when it comes to the pool game. Even I have to ask him a rule or two every now and then. His brain retains so much. And he knows all the rules. Or he's never been, uh, been able, unable to answer a question. And there's the rules official. Showed up to ver- clarify and verify that George was speaking. Oh, wait. That doesn't look like a rules official to me. That looks like a drunk guy. Well, George is explaining the rules. Hogwag is still saying, Oh, the drunk guy is back. Drunk guy knows the right answer. Hog legs talk to the drunk guy, cause maybe he is a drunk rules official guy. Meanwhile, Hog Leg tell George to shoot the eight ball. George still telling Hog Leg something about the rules. What I've Googled is, if you do attempt to break down your cue before the game is over, it could look as if you conceded it, which could be the end of the game if the shooter chooses to call it. Here at the round corner, it depends on who the shooter is, it might be called. So, I think George put some cue on the stick, maybe he didn't call it. Uh, maybe he's just educating a hog leg with a little less than a handshake, and that's what the round corner tavern's all about. Cheap drinks, big smiles. Some of them may only have one tooth. With that in mind, George goes back to the table, puts some more cue on his stick. He's spinning. He must be either frustrated or ready to go, because whatever they're talking about was heated. I can only tune in for a brief moment, because I got stuff to see. Now it's George for the win. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. George for the win at the round corner, and those are the round corner tavern shooters.